Hi, my name is Adam Bean, and today I will try to break um, Glassfish with uh, starting a couple of sessions. And the interesting part is to find out how, my, how many sessions we can actually start with, uh, with stock Glassfish. So I will like to create a very um, breaking, breaking uh, server with state. So I would like to create a very simple Java 6 application and uh, with GSF, a session scope bean and probably um, one stateful session bean with a couple of attributes. So let's start with a GSF page. It will be index. Then I would like to um, create a index backing bean and this will be com broken server presentation and this time this is going to be session scoped just to create more memory pressure on the on the application server i would like to to create as much state as only possible, implement serializable. This is required because of CDI. And then I would like to create a in the business layer hello boundary uh, stateful boundary just for fun and this is stateful session bean and it contains some attributes let's say no idea name string no idea and another one um, hello so and I would like to populate the fields in the post construct method something like create unique values otherwise it could be cached by the JVM and as I said we'll try to create as much uh, waste as only possible no idea so plus and this hello equals plus system current time is perfect and I would like just to get the message string message return this name plus this no idea and plus this of course this doesn't make any sense this is just a proof of concept to test the application server so and I would like to inject the stateful session bin here stay um, at inject with stateful boundary get message return sp dot message so and then we could integrate that in the JSF page so index dot message and just create a nice title so let's try to deploy that run it should start the application server and the database and deploy the application open the browser and yeah now the application server starts and Let's see what happens. So, okay, um, looks good. So it caches the um, the um, IDs because we created a session, so we don't get uh, get um, 
a unique results because it caches the se sessions. It means if we start the Firefox and another browser and just retry that, you will see there are different values. So now we have uh, two sessions. Just tr I will just try to verify that. So I will run uh, Lightfish. Uh, light view. So this is the light fish, and now we just a light fish is a um, stress testing application, so you can easily uh, track the sessions. So I will start monitoring. So every two seconds, it captures the value from Glassfish, and then I could launch my light view light view app so and now we we should see okay we have already four sessions i guess because um yeah lightfish is running um, on the application server as well as the application so threads and memory so we see now the glassfish consumes about 150 max um, memory we have about 90 threads and peak threads count was 100. So I'm running stock Glassfish. It runs with uh, 512 um, uh, minus XMX RAM. And yeah, it sh should be sufficient for our test. So what I would like to do is I would like to create, to start to create a very small stress test with uh, JMeter. So it's JMeter 2 x We'll just start JMeter. And use the URI. So I would like create a stress test. So let's start with that. Uh, threads, thread group. I would like to start thread with 10 users. Um, forever. It means until Glassfish breaks. Then listener, sorry, uh, sampler. We need a HTTP request and this is uh, wrong, it's not Lightfish. It has to be our local host. So what was the name of the application? Breaking local host, breaking with state. This is the URI. So, um, so go here breaking with state, I will just use the localhost IP address, port number is 8080, and yeah, this sufficient, it's a get request, it's okay, and then I would like to use a listener, and summary report is just sufficient, so I'm just interested whether it actually runs and I would like to see the errors here. So let's recheck that. 10 concurrent users, no think time, uh, running forever, an HTTP request going to the page. And summary you see um, just because of to get a, a sense of whether the test is actually running. So yeah, just start the test, no. And okay, zero errors, so it seems to work. So we have throughput about um, seven, 700 transactions per second. So I just go over to, to Lightfish. And so let's see web, you see, we have already 15,000 uh, sessions and we can correlate that. So, and we have 30,000 commits and uh, let's see Cute, um, cute connections. It means the Glassfish is actually busy. We have almost no errors. There was one uh, error because I, 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 um, I wrote it on wrong error. But, but busy threads counts. About four threads are busy right now, and yeah, heap size. We have about three hundred fifty max of RAM consumption. And how many sessions do we have? We have about 100,000 sessions already. Um, yeah, active sessions, 99,000, 100K. 
Uh, keep in mind, we are running on stock glass, Glassfish with 512 megs of RAM. Uh, go back to performance. So we have about, yeah, the transactions are decreasing. And yeah, heap size, we are about 400 max. So the Glassfish will break soon on about 512 max of RAM. It will break. And probably what, what happens right now, Glassfish tries to passivate the old sessions. Just don't get uh, the out of memory error. Um, keep in mind that everything is running on, on, on main machine. So it means the load generator, the screen casting uh, software as well as a light fish. So it is, a, it is an unusual high load. So web, we have about 125, no, about one, 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 120,000 sessions right now. And I think about 130,000 session, the glass fish will break with out of memory um, errors. Keep in mind that we, we have right now one session scoped manage bean with one stateful session bean uh, with three attributes. So, and this is what I do actually in my projects to estimate the, um, the, uh, the, the uh, scalability of the server. And um, this is one of our first proof of concepts um, to get a sense um, whether the, it is viable to go with stateful or stateless architectures. So I think with about 130, K, um, the glassfish will break. So um, I'm just curious. So let's wait for that. Okay, with uh, 131,000 sessions, the glassfish wasn't able anymore to uh, create new sessions. So it broke with uh, with our sample application, and we got a wonderful out of memory error. So we could say, okay, with our trivial application, we were able to handle 130K sessions with a thing, single glass fish and 512 max of RAM. And um, usually you will get a lot more than 512 megabyte of RAM in production. So you can handle 500K sessions per glass fish instance. Um, the problem with this approach is you cannot just scale infinitely with RAM because at one point of time you will get trouble with garbage collector, but uh, with optimization of garbage collector optimization. So um, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, before you are uh, deciding stateless versus stateful, just create a very simple proof of concept, more realistic than this one, and just measure the performance and talk about numbers. And yeah, thank you very much. And I describe some of the approaches also in my, in my book, Real World Patterns. And see you at upcoming conferences, workshops, or uh, at EHEX, um, upcoming workshop at Munich Airport. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching.